Yeah, hello and welcome to another quick update about Bitcoin. Um, start of the week update really, yeah, for um, everybody who also wants to get some information already for possibly here the next week for Bitcoin. Um, so I still expect, so Bitcoin had a bit of a small rally today, it really would be a bit overkill to call it a rally, but um, Bitcoin has moved up quite a bit today from the swing low here, the last swing low at 29.2k all the way up to around 30.3k yeah so bitcoin here really started to move higher um however not that much it already was retracing again but it made a lower uh, lower sorry higher low um but is still sort of in this triangle pattern here that you can see with this descending trend line this ascending trend line and currently i still look for this Elliott wave triangle, this A, B, C, D, E pattern to complete. This E wave would complete the wave four. That's a wave four corrective wave where we had on the 12th of May, a wave three down here. Yeah, so an impulsive wave three. We are now in a corrective wave four and you would then expect in a next move, a wave five to the downside, an impulsive wave five. Now, I did explain in the previous video, the higher the wave 4 now goes, the higher the wave 5 target should be. Yeah. So this will determine how low we will go in what I consider to be the last leg down of this overall correction. This, also based on the medium term Elliott wave count, should complete that overall correction that might be considered the capitulation yeah this should complete it all and then we should be able to turn around at least the, the market will have a chance to turn around and get back into an uptrend for now i think we are still in this way for corrective wave um i don't really see the signal yet that it's complete the wave e yeah will be the last wave of that triangle and it could be complete already maybe yes um but we now would need to see some impulsive moves down for that because that would then start that wave five. Now this wave E in this triangle could go as high as, yeah, the wave C, as I said before, 30.7K. I can put a line on here. This would be for me a level at which I would um, consider a different wave count then. Um, but for now, I will um, remain here with this Elliott wave count of an ABCDE triangle. Um, certainly, we could in the next move move up a little bit higher yeah, in the first instance to 30.3k again. And then we might really get to that 30.7k. Um, one reason for that is that you can already see here on the one hour chart an engulfing green candle. Bear in mind, it's only the one hour chart, and we might actually break out of this pattern here, yeah, of this triangle pattern which would not invalidate the Elliott wave pattern but um, this Elliott wave E wave could go yeah ideally as high as 30.7k above that in my opinion it would still be a wave 4 but it would then just be a different way of counting the wave 4 yeah so I guess tomorrow we will know more I mean maybe it's already Monday where you live and um, here it's still Sunday in the UK um, but yeah, I guess we will know more in a in a few more hours, you know, depending on um, how much this will happen. I mean, how much will happen? I mean, we are towards the end of the week and typically towards the end of the week and in the beginning of the new week, sort of overnight here in the UK, we usually see a bit of volatility. And remember the last few weeks, it was like I woke up in the morning and we had quite a bit of a different price. So there was something happening in the night. Um, there is usually towards the weekly candle close a bit of volatility. Um, so yeah, that's really, really what I'm looking out for now. Um, ideally, the price in this current pattern should not make, move above 30.7K. But in a wave four, the price still has more space um, to move a little bit higher. Yeah, it's certainly all the way up to here the wave X high, which is at 31.4K. That would be another important resistance level. But also even a little bit higher. Yeah, I think it could even move in this scenario all the way up to 34K. But this is quite a bit of a move. So let's let's see. Let's for now, you know, we, we currently hold below this 30.7K level. And this is also the current expectation should move down from here, ideally, and a move below 29.2k would confirm that that is the previous swing low 
even better would be a move below 28.6. So this would confirm the downtrend in the beginning of that next wave down. But I think we would we are really here in the last meters of the E wave if it then is the right um, wave pattern that we've got here. Currently looks like it. Yeah, we're certainly in a corrective wave four. That is, in my opinion, pretty, pretty certain. So overall, what, what do the indicators do? Any news here? So still emerging downtrend or downtrend is increasing in strength here actually on the daily, on the ADX and the I. Um, yeah, the RSI is still in the bearish range. I think it's following the price pretty much. So nothing too crazy going on here. Uh, the MACD also, we had a bullish crossover that does translate over a little bit in the, into the price. Yeah. Um, important is now, how does it work out on the four hour and here on the four hour chart? Yes, bullish range on the RSI, MACD also green. So at the moment it indicates bullish momentum that would actually indicate short term that we could really see a little bit of rising prices here. As I said, uh, we broke out here on the one hour chart out of that triangle pattern. Yeah, next target would then be, if it can maintain above this triangle pattern, would then be 30.7K. And if we break that, it could go all the way up in the first instance to 31.4. But already above 30.7K, I would reconsider this triangle it might change the short term wave count, but a break above these levels would not necessarily be bullish yeah, because this is still a very corrective pattern. So what do we expect next week? Um, so yeah, based on what is going to work out here, uh, as I just said, we expect either a little bit of an extended correction in this wave four, if we can move above 30.7K, if we don't and will move down lower then as a consequence, this could really take us then already down next week in a last leg of this correction. So these are so the two key points I'm looking out for 30.7K and to the downside 28.6K. They are the main levels Yeah. Um, overall on the weekly. Obviously, I think this is, has never happened. If this weekly candle will close in the red, which probably it will. Yeah, I, would, I mean, to move down now to move up now to roughly 31.3K to make that a green candle. I don't think it's gonna happen, not in that short period of time. So those eight red candles in a row, I think that has never happened before. And that would also indicate a little bit for the downside um, here in the next few days and weeks possibly until that changes. I think a first green candle again could indicate a temporary reversal, but we're not there yet. A um, few things happening next week that could indicate a, or could, could lead to a little bit of volatility in the market, for example, um, yeah, Jerome or yeah, happening this week, obviously, depending on where you are and which time zone. But we've got um, Jerome Powell speaking, I think at a, there, there's one event going on. I think it's not nothing too significant that happens on Tuesday. And then also we have Christine Lagarde um, talking at the World Economic Forum, I believe it is, um, in Davos on Tuesday as well. And then we've got a few more numbers, some unemployment data being released throughout next week. Um, and I also posted that for the channel members here on Telegram and Discord today. That's another benefit of channel members that from now on I will post on a Sunday what we can expect for the week after, for the following week, yeah, in terms of important events that could shake the markets up a little bit. So yeah, um, hopefully you like the update here about Bitcoin, the beginning of the week update or end of the week, depending on your time zone. So um, yeah, hopefully you will have a good start to the week. And as always, you know, um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.